Play ball. Play ball, everyone. Welcome back to the Sly Podcast. That was our guest. I think that was pretty good. That was that was kind of energetic, right, Jen? That was solid. Yeah. Yeah. Lila, that was pretty solid. Solid. You know, you know, we've actually had to make quite a few people redo theirs. And sure. uh, you know, it's sometimes we just gotta have the right kind of energy for the show. And uh well, anyway, welcome back to the Sly Podcast. I am uh, your host, Coach Aaron, and today I am joined with Lila Brickwall Bratcher. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing good. Good. And we're going we're gonna to talk to you in just a minute because you've been on the road this past weekend, and we want to hear oh, about yeah. that. And also joining today is Coach Jen. Ma'am? Good evening. Howdy. Howdy. How, is, uh, how are things in your world? Good. We had our third uh, six and under softball game last night, and... The girls, the girls played well. Let me tell you a funny story about it. So okay. the umpire that we had, I actually know him from college ball. He was an umpire at Gardner Webb several times. So he still does college ball, high school ball. And he, just for fun, he does rec ball. Mm-hmm. So we got to talk and he recognized me and I've seen him at several games before. And uh, so we're winning. There's like 15 minutes left in the game and we're winning three to eight. And he goes, you got this. There's no, like, it's really hard to score five runs. And I said, if you just jinxed me, I'm following you to your truck. And he's like, we just laughed about it. You know, we, I was kidding. Yeah. And, uh, so what well, do they do? At that time you were at that time. you yeah, were. <laughs> yeah. So what do they do? But they score five runs. And I looked at him and I said, I'm coming after you. He said, I don't drive a truck. I said, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to find you after this game. And of course I was joking because it's six and under softball. Like he better really. figure out one way to make one of those runs not count. Well, like, kid didn't touch the plate something. There were some, there were two questionable calls. One was at third. Uh, she was, I think she was safe. And then our second baseman. So in six and under, if you make an attempt to throw the ball to first or any base, it's con- if the if the the first baseman, second baseman, third baseman doesn't catch it, it's considered an overthrow, mm-hmm. and the play stops. So there's no advancement so one, on an overthrow. One there's base. No advancement in six U softball. There's no advancement. Oh wow! Everybody stays put. Okay. So she threw the ball, but she threw it so terribly it was like halfway down the first baseline. Mm-hmm. So he didn't call that a throw. So the runners are running. He didn't call it a, a throw to first. He just it was like a, I don't know what he thought it was. Yeah. So that, I that would have been. I what you would name that. An so assist. that <laughs> should have, yeah, that should have stopped. Had he called it a throw to first base, it should have stopped the runners and that would have been a different outcome. But anyway, um, it's the girls you. are having fun. It's the girls are having you. fun and um, I'm having a blast. So that's what's new in my world. We have two more games next week and um, Callie's loving it. So I'm loving it. Yeah. What position is she playing now? Third base. Okay. Yeah. Is she able to make it over to first? She doesn't really. Um, and she's really mad because she never gets, she rarely gets the ball. Oh. And she's like, put me at shortstop. I want to get the ball. And I'm like, you don't know where they're going to hit it, you know? <laughs> so I could put you one place and then they'll hit it to third. So. Yeah. Yeah. Shortstop. That, that's a popular position though. It's popular. Yes, sir. I think it's yeah. going to be popular with our guests too. She's made yes, some sir. really good plays tagging third. If there's runners on first and second, um, okay. she's made some great plays at third. So she's, she's yes, doing sir. well. What about you? What's going on in your world? Well, we had our first flag football game and uh, we won. And um, it was, it was very, it was, it was super fun. I was mm-hmm. I was a little bit nervous because you know here in D two world where we're where we are in the upstate of South Carolina we we care a lot about apparently this product we put out on the field and they wanted coaches to be quarterback this season right. and uh, if you can't tell the undertone there I I'm being very facetious and sarcastic yeah. but um, I don't care I'm I'm so tired of these rules that I've had to follow but. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, well, aside, aside from that, your son is having a great season, right? He, he is having, you know, after his first game, super nervous. I know everyone that's listened to the show, you know, he's always been super hard on himself in baseball, um, had his first right. tackle season last, last fall. And uh, the kid, like, 
man, we, we threw a Hail Mary up at the end of the first half, the end of the, the first, first half there, I guess it was. And uh, he caught it the last second for a touchdown. And it was, uh, it was, it was pretty awesome. But And the crowd goes wild. Woo! I didn't even get a chance to really like celebrate because I'm like, all right, we got to line up for two. We got to line up for one, you know, whatever it is. <clears throat> and, um, but we got some cool videos from it. But it was good. It was good. But uh, I'm going to tell you, the weekend that I'm ready to hear about is Lila's. So, Lila, <laughs> um, yes, you've been on a jet plane this past weekend. Where, where, where did you go? Mm -hmm. I went out in Florida for the MLB Trailblazer Series event. Mm -hmm. So we've heard about this on the show before. We've talked about it. But remind yes, everyone what this Trailblazers event is. So they invite the top 96 girls throughout the U.S., sometimes Canada. They invite all of them. We come meet up in Florida. They group us into teams. We just have this full experience. We get to play two games. We get to meet all these USA players. It's pretty awesome, man. Wow. That was pretty cool. So all the ball girls were there, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how'd you do? Uh, we won both of our games. I, I hit 600. Um, I only caught three innings, but I did pretty well there, too. Okay. Where you play out in the outfield? Yeah, a little bit. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. What was your biggest takeaway from that, that weekend? Like, what, what sticks out to you the most? And you remember, was it someone speaking or some advice you got? Um. So, yeah, we got to hear Jackie Robinson's eldest granddaughter she spoke to us about no just him and how he had to keep going on you know that really stuck out to me very cool mm -hmm. that's awesome wow there i go jen that's awesome awesome so, uh, yep yeah, gotta count how many times i say awesome so that's like three so far I, probably probably well look lila that is uh pretty amazing um <laughs> and, and you get it, you, this is your second time or how many times you've been down for the trailblazers? Um, this is my third time or that was my third time. Gotcha. Was there a lot of bombs hit? Yeah, a ton. Yeah. How'd Ashlyn do? She show off coach Alvarez a little bit, what they're going to look forward to in the future. Yeah. I don't know how many bombs she hit. I just know she did real well. She got into the home run derby. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's going to be our USA opponent probably one day in the softball yeah. world. So, oh, well, we, we got to look, Lila, she's going to be the enemy one day. Like She said uh, she might play USA. I'm trying to convince her. There you go. Look, that way, that way we all can pull for her. We don't have to pull against her. So Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to our guest tonight. So joining us from Charlotte, North Carolina, I found this dude – Someone posted a video. It had some pretty hot music to it, and you know the music caught my ear first, and then I just started watching the plays that just unfolded on the screen, and uh, I had to look this dude up. And it's uh, Mr. Trey Dunford. How are you doing, sir? Good. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Uh, yes, welcome sir. to the Slide Podcast, sir. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You for having me. Well, look, man. I, I, we're going to have, we're going to tell everyone to go look you up and follow you after the show, but you know, give us a sneak peek. Who is Trey Dunford, man? How, how did you get into baseball? I, was, I started playing baseball mm -hmm. when I started watching it and realizing how cool of a sport it was. Okay. The first game that I watched was a Braves game with my dad. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Now, how old were you at, at that point? I was seven. Seven. Okay. Well, yes, sir. Now, Lila's a Braves fan, right, Lila? Mm -hmm. No, I thought you were. <laughs> your mom is. Cardinals. My yeah, mom is. That's right. Your mom's a Braves fan. All right, so, Trey, who's your favorite Brave? I like Cunha. I really love how he plays. Yeah, I, th I think yeah, everybody. He's probably my favorite Brave right now. Yeah, everybody's got to pull for him. As long as they keep him in Atlanta, they can't let him get away. Yes, yeah, sir. I love the Braves, though. Very. How many, how many times have you been to see a game? Song. few times few times great baseball yes sir all right dude so look let us know a little bit about you man so you know i, I think you've moved around you've lived in some really really cool places before um yes, but sir. tell us tell us what we should know about you um uh, i like drawing mm -hmm. 
But um, my favorite thing to do is just work. I love working out. Working out. Like, are, are yes, we sir. talking like gym or are we talking running? Like, what kind of stuff we're doing here? I, l- I love training with my trainer, Coach Bill Hall. He was a former MLB player. Mm-hmm. But, yes, sir. All right. And I trained with Coach Mike Self. Mike Self. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, let's, we'll get to all that stuff here in just a minute. So, you, when what age did you start playing? When you were seven? Yes, sir. All right. And so, now you're, what, nine and a half? Uh, ten. ten. Okay, ten. Uh, yes, playing ten U with Wow Factor. Um, yes, sir. And all right, so the game just gets harder and harder each season, right? Yes, sir. But it looks like you know I, I watched through a lot of your clips, dude, and I see a lot of like superstar ability there. Like, thank you. I keep trying to work. Is it natural, or or do you really have to work for it? Every, I just try to work for everything. Okay. Make sure I can get better every single day. I like that, you know, because sometimes it, sometimes it does come natural for us. But, you know, what separates us from everyone else is that work and that work ethic ability. So that's awesome. All right, Lyle, I'm going to let you start us off and see, see what you want to know about this dude. All right, so as Aaron was saying, you've been all over, right? Why did you pick the yes. Braves? I love the Braves because me and my dad always voted for them. I watched my first baseball game with the Braves. Nice. Yes, sir. Yep. I I forgot you were a Cardinals fan. How did you? Oh, Yachty. 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 That's right. That's right. See, Lila's a catcher. (laughs) What position do you play, Trey? I play shortstop. All right. Always play short? Play any other positions? Or they just got you on lock at short? I got short. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's like everybody's favorite position. Jen, what was your favorite? I mean, at what age, Jen, did you start catching? I wasn't catching until I was in high school. So in Charlotte, uh, fast pitch wasn't a thing until um, I was in high school. It's like oh. we were one of the last to, to get on the train of fast pitch. So it was slow pitch. Uh, so I played outfield and loved every minute of it. Like, yeah hosing yeah. people at home and, and stuff like that was my thing. And then um, one day somebody asked if anybody wanted to try catching, and I was like, I'll try it. And then it put me through mm-hmm. school. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, so Trey, like you, somebody put you at short and you just hadn't left, right? You just set up the camp yes, there. Sir. All right. Yes, well, why, why is it that every, uh, you know, most kids, and I actually here on the show, we talk to a, an abundance of catchers. Like, it mm-hmm. just yes, seems sir. like that's what apparently I scout. Like, and I don't look at positions. I'm just looking at talent and all this other different stuff. And, uh, but we seem to get a yes, lot sir. of catchers. But shortstop is up there. Why yes, is sir. shortstop so cool to play? You get a lot of action and you, and you keep moving your feet. Really cool. Yeah. Well, yes, I mean, but that's an important position. I mean, because yes, when sir. you're talking about turning two, you know, there, there's a lot of decisions you got to make, you know, holding a runner at third on a ground ball. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. How, how have you been able to learn, like, how to play that position the right way? I mean, it's frustrating. It has to be. Is it not? No, sir. No? I just keep trying to, I just keep trying to learn and ask questions whenever I can. Okay. The person who's helped me with that a lot is Coach Mike Self. Okay. He teaches me the game a whole lot. So now is Mike is he your coach for the Wild Factor? Yes, sir. All right. He's he's one of the he 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 owns the youth national teams. Gotcha. Because it's not just the Wild Factor you play for; you play on the national team, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So like you, you get you get to play a little around you get to play around the around the country a little bit with the national team, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, where's your really? favorite place that you've went so far? So far, probably Atlanta. Really At, cool place. Hi, Atlanta. At East Cobb? Yes, sir. I love East I, Cobb. Great park. Man, I, I think I'm going down there. I think it's next month. I think there's a World yes, Series. Sir. It's either next month or the month after. Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you yes, going to be there? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I, there's, there's, I think there's a couple kids that might be there from the show. So good stuff. Hey. Jen, hey. this dude, I, I mean, he, he's got a little swag to him. What do you think? 
Yeah, I was actually just looking at his drip. I was wondering what what kind of obviously your number's three. I'm guessing. Yes, no. Tell me yes, about no. the other drip that you have around your neck right there. What you got? Essential going on? drip. Oh, excuse me. Um, I got a cross right here with um a Bible verse, and then mm-hmm. I have my beads. Your beads. You yes, know what? Sir. We're gonna start having some slide podcast beads here soon. Yes, Red, white, and blue. Uh, well, we're we're gonna we're gonna do some crazy stuff. I really don't know. I, you know what? I pulled yes, them sir. out the other night, and um, yes. I had to put them up. I was like, I as I'm not in the mood to make necklaces right now. But oh, anyway, Trey, when I am making when I am making some new uh, bead necklaces for our fans, what? How do I know if this if I'm making something that's got some drip to it? Like, what's the key? I guess drip is is whenever is like how you move. Okay. It's how you walk? Yes, sir. Uh oh, we broke up a little bit on you. What what was that last part? Oh, I said it's just about how you wear it. Yes. Sir. Okay. How you wear it? Yes, how you wear it? All right. I I don't know. I I have to. I, I'm still learning the drip game. Um, yes, so, sir. you know, I I'm kind of the old person, but you know, I I show up every every episode. I got my eye drip. You know, I, I I'm learning. Um, I've got I've got. I don't have it on tonight, but I got my bead necklace. Um, Super Mario yes, sent me, um, yes, and uh, you know I, I'm I'm learning. I'm learning. Now tell me what I if I was going to come play shortstop and you you had to set out for an inning, like what would I need to know so that we don't miss a beat? You need to know where to line up your field, and, and at all times what's going on around the field. Sounds like a lot of stuff, dude. What if I j- I just need to focus on the batter, though, right? Yes, sir. Make sure you need to know your positioning and and how to hustle. How to hustle, Lila? Yes, I, don't, sir. I don't, Lila. Do you hustle? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, she does. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, All yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, of course she does. Are you, you're not on, oh, she was muted. You, you're supposed I was to, muted, I was talking. <laughs> she was probably talking back to me as yes, I was sir. saying it, so. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, Lila, what else you want to know about this dude? Uh, do you have any, like, highlights, like, baseball moments that you just, like, they're stuck in there forever? Yes, ma'am. I went to Cary, North Carolina for the USA Baseball. Nice, nice. How was that facility? Because I have heard it is super nice. It's super nice, yes, sir. Yeah. All right. It's a great field, yes, sir. Tell me about this whole experience because I've seen a lot of kids, uh, you know, go to carry and do those tryouts. Yes, sir. Like, when you tell me about what it's like when you get there, you know, when you meet the coaches, when you get out on the field, like, what's the whole experience like? Tell us about it. When you get there, it's a very nice field. The coaches are always very nice. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, are they mean? mean are they mean to you? Are they push you hard? No, sir. Well, I hope Very so. Nice. Look, I'm gonna tell you, this dude made the USA team, Jen. Mm-hmm. Like he he went, he did this thing, and then he made the thing. So I don't. I, that probably don't make a lot of sense, does? It? I was trying to be cool <laughs> right there. I, obviously, I don't think it worked. Um, Jen's giving me Just one be- of her. Do just it. be yourself. Just be yourself, Aaron. You're nerdy. <laughs> You're nerdy, and we love it. Um, Trey, what do you think made you stand out to those coaches? Um, I just love getting, going hard and making sure that I that I can move my feet and do whatever I can to help the team. What if you were like disrespectful to the coach, or you yelled at the umpire or something? What do you think they would say? I don't think you would ever do that. But. No, sir. no, no. Well, what do you think they would say if you did? Yeah. I don't even know. I've never tried before, though. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Not not yeah, if you're trying yeah. to impress your coaches and all those MLB yeah, scouts yeah. that are in the stands and stuff. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, what, what do you remember those coaches, like, telling you personally? Like, did you, you – I'm sure you had some, like, one-on-one co- conversations with these coaches. Like, yeah, what sir. was some things that they told you that, like, stuck with you till this day? Um, one of the coaches told me that, um, no matter what, to, to always 
to always know what's going on mm-hmm. and to know and to know how to make the play and just know what's going on. Okay. Well, talk about being a teammate because yes, I, I think that is something that probably those coaches were looking for. Yes, I'm sure your yes, coaches sir. might self. That's important. Yes, like, yes, so you're, you're this, you know, highlight reel is what I've seen so far. Like you, you, you yes, put sir. up some reels, like, but how do you get the rest of your team to like really help you? Because you can't win the game by yourself. How do you right. help the rest of your team? I start to lead as much as I can. Yes, sir. Well, what does that mean, lead? To hustle and motivate everybody to make sure that we can win. Oh, okay. Cause you, you, and to you, pick people up whenever they make a mistake or an error. Yeah. Because have you ever made an error? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Jen, you've, you've made one or two, right? Yes, sir. Maybe one. Maybe it's questionable. <laughs> Maybe one. Lila, I mean, you got you got about you got, Lila, you got about. I got me, got about maybe like half one. Half yeah. of one. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Trey was a highlight reel. <laughs> My reel would be like follies, probably. So you know. Jim fails. Yes, sir. I know. Well, my goal is to be is to is to be the greatest baseball player in ever, and to get drafted one one out of high school. That's some big goals right there, man. Where do All you right, want to? So. Where do you want to go? Atlanta, I would assume. Yes, we're on Braves. Yes, we're okay. on. Well, look, you know, they, they've always been great with going and getting some talent, you know, with, yes, the, with the kids. So, I mean, and that's what's always kept the Braves up there is their, their farm system is yep. they, they find them. Elite. They find them. Yes, sir. So, now, you bat left and you throw yes, right. Throw How right. did that happen? Yes, sir. Um, I originally started – Field it, throwing left-handed, mm-hmm. but then I really love the infield, so I changed and started and started throwing right-handed. Really? Yes, sir. And, and, and this was switch? well, this was at like seven or eight, right? I guess. Yes, sir. Can you imagine sw- switching hands? Uh-uh, like that's that? Weird. I mean, because you already have a dominant hand at that point. Like, right. how did you teach yourself that? Um, my dad. My dad and coach Mike Self helped me switch it. Yes, yeah, sir. Wow. Do you feel like you were naturally left-handed and you had to learn right, or do you think it yes, came ma'am. natural? Really? I was naturally left-handed. Yes, ma'am. So if you tried to throw left-handed again, how would that go? <sighs> I've tried it before, but it goes pretty well. I mean, that would be a cool skill because, like, yes, Ashlyn ma'am. is oh, – yeah can hit left and right and can throw left and right, can pitch left and right. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is it'd that? be cool to like keep that skill. Yeah. Is... Ambidextrous, yes. Yeah. That's right. Look, Ashlyn dude. told me Go ahead. Ashlyn told me she throws like sixty seven with her left arm right now and I was like, I can't even throw that hard with my right hand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Uh tell tell Trey about what's that how you pronounce Ashlyn's last name? Jolliker. Jolliker. All right, you need to look up this girl, dude, because I'm yeah. gonna tell you, she's uh, she's 13. She's originally yeah, from uh, Canada. Canada. She spends six months a year in in California. This girl, she's very she's very similar to you in respects. So she's constantly pushing her game, and yeah. she's natural righty, right? Is that right? Uh, I don't even know. I, I don't even know at this point either, but the girl can hit. She dr- <laughs> she hits bombs from both sides of the plate, and she can throw a no hitter, pitching from both sides of the mound. And I mean, and she's she's something, dude. And I think that's that's you got that something special, man. Because thank you. That's a that's a challenging thing, you know. Seven eight years old, and like, did you understand it when you started switching over? Like, did you understand why you were trying to change? You, you, wouldn't yes, you sir. like, Dad? This ain't right. This is the I can't. I throw. I can't throw. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. I should keep working towards it. Yes, sir. So even you, in, Mark, in practice, when I try to show, we have several lefties on our team. When I try to show them, you know, like some type of swing with their left side, I feel so <laughs> awkward. Now I'm a little older than you, so I've been a right righty for way longer than than yes, uh right. you two but um hey listen to this I, i'm gonna change so awkward i'm gonna change the subject really quick and speaking of being old 
<clears throat> All right. I am not even kidding. All right. So yesterday we were at flag football practice, and this is for everyone. Trey, don't laugh at me too much here. All <laughs> okay. right. So I'm trying to tell the kids, like, all right, I want to stretch, run, and play. Right. You know, and I want them to stretch the run out, run out. And it just wasn't clicking. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to line up in the backfield. So, <laughs> and the, you know, the linebackers are up here at front, and they're like, well, do we got to tackle you? And I'm like, if you can. I mean, two hand tag me, of course, because this is flag. <laughs> Listen, I thought I could get around the edge. You did. I did not. I <laughs> I didn't even make it close to the edge, and I it's stopped. Terrible! Isn't it? Oh my god! I, I felt like I was running in slow motion. Either that, or that dude hit like turbo burst or something in his little game That's controller. That's not what happened. That's oh not what my. happened. He pulled a cheat <laughs> code slow. out on me. Yeah, I mean, I think you're just okay. slow. I'm trying to make excuses. That's that's messed up, Lila. Listen. So it's it's always been a thing. I've been faster than Colton, but we haven't raced in a while, and he wants to race like on a whim. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> I gotta warm up. <laughs> I can't just like take off. Listen, I, I gotta have to stretch. at least stretch a little bit. <laughs> that's right. I gotta take a warm up lap. I gotta stretch. Go get in a cold um, tub. You know. Yeah. Yep. Sauna cold. <laughs> sauna cold. <laughs> And then, so he, he thinks that he can, he can outrun me now. We just haven't tested it out. And I, he might be right. We've, we've interviewed somebody else. Oh, um, the other kid with the, with the baseball podcast. Yeah, he Grayson. Races his dad. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't think they've raced in a while. I asked his dad, I think it was last month. I said, has Grayson beat you yet? And he said, we haven't raced in a while. And I think that's his dad's way of saying, yep. um, He's probably going to beat me, and I'm just I'm I'm, I'm not going to advertise it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Trey, I'm going to tell you, I'm an old man, mm -hmm. and it will be here before you know it. So you better take care of that body, okay? That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you now? Are you fast? Because now, listen, I already know the answer to this. I'm going to say, is. I'm going to say, Trey, are you fast? And he's going to say, Yes, sir. How <laughs> how fast are you, Trey? Um, I just keep trying to work on it every day with my speed and agility coach. Speed and agility that coach. That I just got with in Charlotte. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, look. Now, you're in... What grade are you in now? Third. Third grade. Yes, so sir. So, you got homework, Third right? Ten? Yes, sir. Well, I do homeschool, yeah. actually. Uh oh, okay. So, yes, sir. how often do you practice baseball? Every day. H how is that possible? Like, when I do homeschool, it, it it's really it's much easier to get to get and work every day. Okay. Well, what kind of work uh, like on a light day? What's a light day workout for you? Probably I I go in I go in the garage and I hit two buckets, and then feel the bucket off my knees off a of bounce back. Wow. Now does this, does your mom and dad have to come out there with you and make you do this kind of stuff? No, sir. I love the work. See, that that's something that, you know, Jen, I feel like is missed on with a lot of people, right? You know, we hear about all of these parents that, you know, sign their kid up for everything and all these lessons. And, you know, and it's, it's usually the same parents that are showing out at the park because mm -hmm. their kid's not getting the right playing time or something. But th there's something to be said about a kid that's willing to do it himself and put himself through you know, that workout without having any kind of guidance. And uh, well, that, that's how you know. That's yeah. how you know that they love it and they're on the right path because, you know, parents are willing to, to spend the money and to give you everything that you need to be successful. And I'm like that as long as they love it. You know, yeah. Colton doesn't play baseball anymore because I knew he didn't love it. So we moved on and yeah. that's okay. And I think a lot of parents don't, their pride and their ego kind of gets in the way and, and it, it's to the detriment of the kids. So good for you for going out there. And your parents ought to know how much you love it if you're, if you're willing yes, to do that kind of work every single day. Because that's something you can't teach. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I can't remember who it was that told me. But, you know, they're like, look, don't put kids in, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't hire my personal trainer until they're ready to go out and do the work themselves first. And because if it requires a trainer to get them motivated, then they don't have what it takes to need to take their skills to the next level. So something to that degree. But I, I completely agree with wh whichever way it was said. 
Yeah, I mean, and same thing goes for like camps in the summertime and, you know, so much traveling that you do, Trey, and um, mm-hmm. just I would encourage parents out there, make sure they love it before you put all that time and effort into it because yeah. I mean, you're just, yeah, you, you're just at this point, you're trying to keep a hobby alive. And, you know, if, yeah, if, the, if the hobby's not like living inside of that kid, like it's just, it's all for nothing. So, Trey, so, being in the South, um, you know, only mm-hmm. an hour and a half or so from us, baseball can be yes. pretty much played year round. Do you yes, ma'am. have something going on all the time? Do you play other sports? No, no, I play all baseball. Okay. Have you ever had an injury before? Not so far, no, ma'am. Okay. I just keep trying to stay healthy. Absolutely. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah. Other than the working out and oh. stuff, like you make sure you get enough sleep, enough water, eat the right things. Yes, She's telling y'all the right answers, so now you got to tell us something different. I know, kind of leave me a little bit. <laughs> um, how, how do you take care of pa- yourself? I go to a chiropractor every week and make Ooh. sure I can get adjusted. Nice, you like and then it? I stretch. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You and then like I stretch it. every morning. They like put you in these positions and crack, crack like that. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel like I would like that. Everybody's different. Some when people you get don't. older, you will. <laughs> Uh, some of us, some of us crack when we do anything at all, much less going and paying somebody for it. I, I cracked a few <laughs> times yesterday, I believe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Lila, you've never been to the chiropractor. Mm-mm. Oh, now I, I, had, me. I had never been when I was your age, um, but I'm gonna tell you. Listen, you you don't have any idea of what the sciatic nerve is. Yeah, yeah. right now and hopefully you don't find out what that is for a very long time but it hurts and you need a chiropractor to help you with that stuff you know and for all the listeners out there that are aware of what i'm talking about they know trey so you okay. have moved you've lived in some big cities dude so yes, like you're in charlotte now uh which yes, was sir. the last city that you lived in uh atlanta atlanta now, do you remember living in Manhattan? A little bit. Yeah. I remember the pizza was really good. The pizza was always good. Oh, I love it. I love it. How old were you in, were you in Manhattan? About two or three. Oh, so he rem- you remember the pizza from then? Yes, sir. Jeez. Oh. Hey, but look, if you've ever had it, you, you probably remember it, though. I, I'm going to yes, say, sir. like... Even, even, what's the name of that place that's in the mall, Jen? Sparrows? Sparrow? What's it called? Yeah. Even that place in New York City is actually good pizza. So. Yeah. Sure. Oh, all right. And so then you've lived in D.C. and then High Atlanta. And yes, now sir. you're in Charlotte. Now, how do you yes, like sir. Charlotte? I love Charlotte. It's a great place. Man, there's a lot, of, there's a lot to do up in this area, man. Especially yes, baseball-wise. How long have you been with Wild Factor? Um, about a year now. Yeah. Now, yes, sir. Wh- what makes Wow Factor so different than other programs? Because I- I've heard of Wow Factor. Uh, I've had a conversation with the guy who started it. Um, but you tell me, like, what's the difference? It's the coaching. The coaches are great. Ah, now tell me, tell me what may is it just because you're good friends with them and they give you all these easy passes and you don't got to run and stuff or tell me what, no, what, what makes a it's great just, coach? They, it's just like always teaching and always learn something new every time you go. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, Lila, let me ask you this question. What, if you had to describe what you look for in a coach, what would it be? Someone who pushes me to be the best. Someone who's giving me a fair chance, just basic stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. Is that important to you too, Trey? Yes, sir. I think so. I think so. Because, you know, I think, again, sometimes, Jen, we, we, we take things that coaches do and say, and sometimes coaches are harder on some of the kids with, them, with more talent. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, it same goes with even school and teachers is sometimes those hard coaches there because they see something special in you. They're trying to get something out of you. So I, I like the fact that both of you like to be pushed because yes, there is no one in life going to take it easy on you. No one like in this, this world is only getting harder. 
So I don't play Fortnite and all these other games, but like this world's <laughs> leveling up faster than we can. So yeah. like you got to be tough. All right. Okay. So Jen, check this out. I don't know if you saw this dude's bio, but th his favorite things to do are drawing and cooking. So cool. I want to hear about this cooking. Like what? What can yes, you? Because I, I'm on. I'm only about an hour and some change from you. Because if I get hungry, <laughs> I might come up there and see what you can cook up. What What you gonna be cooking? Oh, um, I love making fried rice. Ooh, Ooh. I like fried rice. What's my protein yes, gonna be? Probably like chicken. Grilled chicken. chicken. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. You You already cooking on the grill? Um. Uh, yes, sir. I know how to make chicken. Okay. I could see I could see him in the the kitchen, Lila, with like his chef's hat, yeah, his, like his apron, like you know, taking a little pinch of salt and like a little salt here, and <laughs> you know, what's that guy Emerald? He goes bam or, or boom or something. I could, I bet you cooking it up, dude. Okay, Lila, thanks. what can you cook? Uh, not much, man. Quesadilla, omelet, some eggs in there. Okay. Oh, I can cook. A lot of stuff in my air fryer, though. I think the lifesaver. Yeah, you know, I haven't got one of those yet, but I, I'm... You should get one. They're real easy. That's what I've heard. I've heard I, sh I yes, should sir. get one. I've got a toaster oven. Let me tell you, I, I make the mean... You know those, like, dollar pizzas you can get at the grocery store? Oh, like, really, really cheap yes, circle pizzas? Man, look, I, I, I have my wife get a bunch of them, and then I get all, the, like, the spices and stuff out, and I just start throwing spices and some pepperonis, and I, I add extra stuff. Man, yes, that two that that two dollar pizza turns into about a ten dollar pizza after I'm done with it. That's 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 my gourmet meal, Lila. So that's what, you want to know what, what mine is. What's that? I like the I like the cup of noodles. I get those things. I put I get some tahini, onion powder. I get all that stuff in there just to cook it in the microwave. Anyways, I feel like I'm so fancy. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, you even got to hold your pinky up sometimes when you when mm -hmm. you take it. Hey, you just got to do it. Come sometimes you're fancy. <laughs> Trey, what's your favorite food to eat, man? I, I would like a good filet mignon with mashed potatoes. Man, this dude, like, I, I, I'm expecting him saying something like a bowl of cereal or something. Some chicken nuggets. He's going to say a filet mignon. Man, <laughs> I hear you, big money. All right, how you going to have it cooked? I like my steaks to cook medium. Okay, all right, so a little pink. It, yes, it it took a while for me to get used to that. I was always a medium well guy, but then I started yeah. realizing that if I cooked it too long, I was losing something. So that's uh that's good stuff. Lila, any more questions for this dude? Um, yes, I do have one more. Yeah. What's your mentality when you step into the box? What are you thinking right then? I love Kobe's mama mentality. Mm -hmm, me too. All right. I, I wasn't a big Kobe Kobe fan. Tell me what that Mamba mentality is. Just thinking whenever I'm going up to the box that I know what I'm doing and, I, and all I know is that I have to go do what I, what I need to do. You should only control yourself. Yes, sir. I'm just kidding. I was a Kobe fan. I just wanted to hear you explain <laughs> it. <laughs> awesome, dude. Look. Yes, sir. Um, so you made the USA team. Um, what's next with that? What do you guys do? So you made the team. What do you, do you guys get a chance to get together and play some games and some tournaments, or what do you guys do with that? Um, after after that, then um, this year you go back, you go back to um the tryouts and you do it again. Okay, so it, every okay. year you just re up and you just try to make the team every year, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what was the competition like there? <laughs> It was great competition. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, did you meet some good friends? Some new friends, yes, I bet. Sir. That's good. I mean, and that's honestly, that's what you're going to remember the most in life is those yes, individuals sir. that you come in contact with. So. Yes, sir. All right. Has anybody ever been better than you? Ooh, that's a good question. No, no. I just try. I just try to be my best. No. You're not comparing yourself to anybody else, just to yourself? Just compare I compare myself yourself. to myself. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. I try to be better than me. I try to be better than I was yesterday. 1% better every day. Yes, ma'am. Let me ask you a question, because I learned this in in a um, in an interview I did with Jake Benwart on here. 
So if, if we say we want to get 1% better each day, how much time do we have to spend on getting better that 1% per day? You have to spend at least an hour. 15, or at least just like 15 minutes. 1% mm -hmm. of your day. Yep. That's all you have to do. And, and that's, that's what, so that's, he, I was like, how much time is that? Cause I could have did the math, but Jake's a much smarter guy than I am. And so I trusted yeah. his numbers. And so, um, but that's it. You just have to remember every day for 15 minutes, I am locked in. I'm going to be 1% better. And then like, that's, that's crazy. Now someone like Trey, who's probably wanting to get like 50% better every day. Like, I mean, like this dude's going to get drafted out of high school. Now let me ask you this question. All right. Let's okay. just say, something crazy happens and there's a total eclipse or something and you don't get drafted out of high school. Where are you going to go play college ball? Um, I, I really like Vanderbilt. Okay. Vanderbilt's okay. a big baseball school. They are. Yes, sir. And a lot of people from the show has said Vanderbilt. So, yes, sir. Lila, are you a UCLA girl? Where are you going? Yeah, UCLA. That's what I figured. Them L.A. people, they got to stay in L.A. That's what Mateo said, too. Mateo's a big UCLA guy. So, all right, dude. Uh, Jen, any final questions for this dude? Um, I will say one thing. You're very young, and so you've got, you've got time. Um, have you yes, ever heard, since we're going with, like, cliches and sayings and stuff, slow is smooth and smooth is fast? Have you ever yes, heard that saying before? Yes, so it actually comes from the Navy SEALs because they, they planned – they made calculated decisions based on the outcome that they wanted. So, um, you know, I think about, I own my own business. So I think about that with business decisions. So your decisions right now revolve around being smart and being good at baseball. So, and being a good person, but obviously you already have that. Um, Thank you. so, you know, just try to think about that when you're, you're going about practices and a certain skill that you're trying to learn even if you don't get it on that first go around, slow yes, is smooth and smooth is fast. Just slow take your time. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Is that what yep. you said? I like that. Yeah. It's a Navy SEAL mantra. So, um, and it, it can be, it can be very ap applicable to so many times in life. Um, so think about that and, sure. Even if, if you're having a, an off day with hitting or fielding yes, or whatever right. it is. But he probably don't ever have day, one of those. You think he has an he, off day? He said he <laughs> probably will say that he doesn't. This but. dude's 24-7. Do you have an off day, Trey? <laughs> Trey, make me, no, feel, make me feel good and, make me, and just tell me yes just to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> you may. One day, one day in the distant future, you may. So just remember the process that you've been through to get here. And that you can go to work the next day and fix it. Yep. And you will. Well, and I can appreciate your mentality of, you know, I'm going to be the best person I can be. And I, I, I can see that determination in your eyes, dude. And thank you. You got to pace yourself because, yes, you know, someone like yourself, as the game gets harder and harder, you don't want to burn yourself out. So pace yourself. Look, slow down and enjoy life as a kid. All right. Yes, I, I know you want to be your, your look. You got MLB dreams. Have kid yes, dreams first. Right. So yes, like go out, play ball in the streets, go play some pickup games. Go, go, man. Honestly, I don't think I'd ever say this on the show, Jim, but play a video game every once in a while. Most of the time I'm trying to tell <laughs> kids to get off video games. But hey, man, pace yourself because the game's going to get hard and you want to you want to be mentally strong there to be to be ready for it so all right dude i got two questions for you man and, and i feel like you're the perfect okay. guest for this first one because this is the first time we've ever asked this on the show i need one word that would describe you what would that word be probably humble humble okay yes, humble i'm gonna write that one down that's a good word tell me what humble means to you just always thinking that I can get better every single day. Yeah. Just well, thinking that there's always something to get better at. There is. There, there's there's another side of that one, too, is there's yes, someone's sir. always... And be a great teammate. Be a be great, a great teammate. teammate. 
And also know that there's a possibility there's somebody out there better than you. And that's why you got to work every day is because that person's working too. So, right. um, but man, I, I think that's, that's the perfect word to sum up this interview, Jen. Like this yeah. dude's got, don't ever let people mistake your confidence for being cocky either. Like mm-hmm. I, I always get that a lot, Jen. Like people say I'm cocky and I'm like, no, no, no there's a difference between being mm-hmm. confident in your, in yourself and being cocky. And there is nothing wrong with being confident because I'm going to tell you somebody that somebody that I look up to so much is Deion Sanders. And that man will write a check. He ain't even stepped foot on campus yet. And he's going to write a check and tell you what he's going to do because he is that confident in himself and he will Mm -hmm. go do it. And you know what? I look up to people like that because they inspire me and Trey. I think you gave me some cold chills tonight, dude. I think I think you got a little bit of that in you too, man. Don't Thanks. don't lose it. Don't lose it, okay? All right. Okay. Last question we ask everybody on the show, man. This is usually mm-hmm. the hardest question. Look, Allie, I started to call you Allie, but Lila's grabbing her grabbing her head because like she's not she even is. ready for it yet. I gotta know. You ready, Trey? Yes, sir. All right. You're walking up to bat. What's your walkout song? My walk up song is it's pro it's hustle and motivate by Nipsey Hustle. It just it, it all fits. It all okay. fits. Every day. Grinding. All right, dude. Tell us where we can find you on social media for all our people listening and watching at home. Um at Trey Dunford Three. Trey Dunford Three. Uh Instagram, okay. you're on any of the other socials yet? Um Yes, sir. Facebook. Facebook. All right. Look him up. Trey Dunford 3. Facebook and Instagram. Lila? Yes, sir. Just Instagram. Oh, just, just Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Yes, sir. Look, I've heard Facebooks for old people anyway, so <laughs> it's okay. Don't even worry about it. I don't even pay attention to it. I'm trying to be young these days, so I'm trying to ignore Facebook. So, All right, Lila, any final words before we close it up? I'm all good. No? You, you, does this dude pass your approval process? Yeah. Look, I'm, that's a big deal, Trey. That's a big deal, Trey. Mm-hmm. You, now you got a fan out on the West Coast. Um, <laughs> Jen, final thoughts? Keep doing it, man. You're you're on the right path. Yes, yeah. Sir. Keep Thank being you. an inspiration, man. Hey, look, take that mentality out to the field. Teach your teammates. Help them understand what that fire's like inside of you. You know, help okay. help people in your classroom understand what it's like to have that fire inside of you because there's so many people that walk around today as adults that don't know what their fire is and yeah. you know teach people what to look for in themselves inspire people to get better trey because i think you you got you got a gift that you're going to lift some people up around you man all right well look we let you start the show off we're going to let you finish the show okay all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a few things here in just a second, but at the end of the episode, we always let let our guests say, "I'm gonna say until next time, Trey," and Trey, you're okay. gonna say, "I'll catch you on the slide." You say. All right. My name is Nicola Fox. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yep, that was a voicemail <laughs> message. All right, listen. Thank you guys again for listening. Go look this dude up because I'm going to tell you there is nothing short of high. Like you're just going to be looking at highlights as you scroll through this dude. But I think today we realize that there's something even more behind those highlights, and that's a person, and that's a driven young man who's got huge goals and dreams. And dude, don't ever let a person stand in your way and get in and get in your way. Like. That, that's when it's okay to be a steamroller and roll them over. But, um, mm-hmm. man, thank you guys for listening to the show. Trey's a great example of what we look for. And uh, if you've got thank someone you. out there that you want to hear on the show, make sure to send them our way. Uh, Lila, Jen, thank you guys very much for hopping on with us. But, Trey, until next time. I'll catch you on the fly. There you go. We thank you for toughing it out and pushing through. Now, let's go teach the world great sportsmanship, leadership, to go inspire someone through your dedication and excitement for the game. Make sure to smash the like and follow button on all social media at the Slide Podcast Show and the Slide Pod on Twitter. Plus, leave us a review and feedback. Until next time. Until next time. We'll catch you on the Slide. On the slide.